Are we live now? <clears throat> yeah, hello everyone. Good evening. Here we are again, reviewing for our 21st century, century literature for our grade 12 students. Ayan. And I'm going to wait uh, while waiting for them. So I need to open our Psychology for our reviewers there. So wait for a minute, guys. Because once you open so many, once you open so many tabs, the speed of my laptop gets slower. So I need to take a little bit step by step in slow mo mode, slow motion mode, slow motion mode. So good evening once again, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening. Good evening sa inyong lahat. Good evening sa inyong lahat. Sino na? Ayan. Eileen, hello Eileen. Thank you so much. So there's an update for Eileen. Eileen, isn't it that there are there are different accounts of yours in your YouTube. Can you still activate it so that you can subscribe in my personal YouTube channel? Then don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Ayan. Don't forget. Carl, di ba meron kang ano? You still have your extra na ano? Na YouTube, na YouTube channel. Pa subscribe naman. Because the others, I tried to subscribe, pero I think it was been, ano, I forgot the passwords. Oh, sad life. It's okay, no problem. That's the case, actually. Forgetting the password. Forgetting the password. Okay. So let, we're going to wait if we are maybe 15 or 20. Then most likely we will start now our review. Okay, Angeline, uh, Daniel, Ibrahim. Sir, will this take long? Ano lang, mabilis lang to. Maybe just 40 minutes siguro. Why are you sleeping na, Carl? You can sleep na, Carl. Tulog na si Carl. Tulog na. Present. Okay. We're gonna wait for it. Don't forget to give thumbs up. Oh, Daniel, it's... Ano sayo? Ano yan? Just curious. Have curfew. <laughs> May curfew ba si Carl? Carl have curfew daw? Siguro wala naman. Oh, the others nga, we sleeps very late. Kung mga one, ganun, or mga twelve or one. Ako din pag during ano, na mga 10 or 11 na ano, my eyes wants to get sleep. Sir, aga pa po bu. <laughs> Ang adik. And it's, you cannot really avoid that. Anyway, next week you will have your one week no classes. So, mag start. Ah, hindi pala, no? On Thursday, we don't have class. Oh, one of you won't even enter on Thursday. Maaga pa bukas. Yeah, maaga pa para bukas. So don't forget to like. Don't forget to like. So we're 12. We're going to wait for three more. Then after that, we can start. Okay. Nasana si Jedrick. Jedrick, are you in? I am 16 na. <clears throat> 18, okay. So start now. Just say, you know, ready. Just pray. Uh... Okay, ready. Okay, ready. Okay, so question number one. This is under... The topic of Sachi. So this is true or false. So true or false, 
Chief Justice Renato Corona was impeached by the Philippine Senate on December 11, 2012. True or false? Chief Justice Renato Corona was impeached by the Philippine Senate on December 12. Ah, sorry, on, on December 11, 2012. True or false? Chief Justice Renato Corona was impeached by the Philippine Senate on December 11. False daw, sabi ni Sachi. Oh, don't tell the answer na Sachi para ano. They will search why it's false. Sabi ni Gian, it's true. True? Are you sure it's true? False? Are you sure it's false? What made it false? Is it Renato Corona? Or Renato Corolla? Charot. Tingin sa sakyan. Chief Justice Renato Corolla? Chief Justice Renato Corona? Or Chief Justice COVID? <laughs> Which one? Or Philippines? Is it the Philippine Senate was the one who impeached impeach Renato Corona or it's the government itself? False na yan. So what made it false? Wala ka rin namang puntos kahit false ang sagot mo. <clears throat> okay, true or false? Still on the, uh, what do you call this, topic of Sachi, Chief Justice Renato Corona was impeached because he did not declare the 138 million pesos in his sal N, a public document required for all government officials. So true or false, Chief Justice Corona True or false? Chief Justice Corona was impeached because he did not declare the 138 million pesos in his sal N, a document required for all government officials. True or false? False thou. Okay, what it made it false? Is it Chief Justice Renato COVID? <laughs> Can you repeat po? So Chief Justice Renato Corona was impeached because he did not declare the 138 million pesos in his sal N, a public document required for all government officials. Is it sal N? What is that public document is? Lito, 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 lito. Sabi niya na ni Sachi false daw. So hanapin niyo bakit siya false. Why is it false? So this is the report of Sachi. Okay, next question. So let's have now uh, much the symbolism of the word or phrases. Or maybe you identify now what these symbolisms mean. It is impartially of justice or justice has no favorites. Therefore, it's objective. So, what is the symbol now of that? Isn't it the justice is the one holding the the scale that's wherein it was been blindfolded? So, so which part now of that uh, picture of justice, which claim that impartially of justice or justice has no favorites? Therefore, it's objective. So what symbol, therefore, is that? 
Repeat po. Ayan. It's impartially of justice. Justice has no favorites. Blindfold. Very good. Okay, that's why it was been blindfold because there's no favorite so that it won't see whether you are rich or poor, whether you're ugly or good looking, whether you smell bad or smell good. Siyempre na, still nose pala siya. Sorry. Eyes pala siya. So it's just a physical ad. Charot lang, charot lang. So, palos lang ako. So it's the blindfold. Okay, the blindfold now meaning Justice has no favorites. It's objective. So it's just what you appeal or whatever your reasons will be the one to be heard. That's why it's blindfolded. But sometimes in the Philippines, no. Their blindfold said it's holes, big holes. Uh, it's here, we call it a wasta. Okay. So how about this? It serves as an emblem of evaluating the testimony with equally for both parties. Yung, yung hawak niya. It is served as em emblem of evaluating the testimony with equ uh, equality for both parties. So what is the one uh, just justicia is holding? It is served as an emblem of evaluating the testimony Sabi niya sino? The weighing scale? Is it the weighing scale? Or pair of scales? Okay, I will... Uh, it's pair of scales or weigh, weighing scales. But he called it as golden pair of scales. Okay, golden pair of scales. It is serve as an emblem of evaluating the testimony with equally equality for both parties. How about this one? This is serve as the warrior... Who breaks the walls of lies to show the truth beyond it? This is uh, this serve as the warrior who breaks the walls of lies to show the truth beyond it. The bites beside beside Justicia there is. Chiana, you check uh, Justicia. Justicia, the picture of Justicia. Double the double edged swords. Very good. Justin Bieber and as a search. <laughs> oh, no. And we called it as the double-edged sword. Okay. Yung divide in the other, in the... Is it right? Yeah. I think, I think it's in the right side. So there is what we call the double-edged sword. And the double-edged sword is serve as the warrior who breaks the walls of lies because we wanted to know the truth on it. How about this one? Justice is just merely a word. Nothing more than not uh justice is just merely a word, nothing more, nothing less. It it is questions the true meaning of justice by distributing, distrusting, or doubting it because of uncertainty. Justice is just merely a word, nothing more, nothing less. It is questions, it questions, sorry, it questions the true meaning of justice. By distrusting or doubting it because of uncertainty. Justice is just merely a word, nothing more, nothing less. It questions the true meaning of justice by distrusting or doubting it because of uncertainty. This is within the painting of an of justice of Philippine justice, okay? It is the divine the painting in the painting kasi of of justicia, uh, justicia. So there's something wrong already with with it. That's why they claim that justice is just merely a word in the Philippines. Okay, nothing more, nothing less. It 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 questions the true meaning of justice because in the Philippines is not what you believed into. But what you know in the society, right? If you commit crimes or some violations, if you are kids or relatives of the politicians or even a well-known people in the society, you are spared 
with the violation. Okay. So it means, therefore, that this is this painting is the Philippine justice where injustitia, justitia is fading the air or cloudy as doubts. So nagfe fade na siya, the, the picture is already fading because it was been um it was been claimed that justice in the Philippines is also fading. Anyway, I think um. For this one, you need to review the the one that um, the PowerPoint presentation of. But we will not take longer here. Um, just review the. How do I term it? Review the the PowerPoint presentation of Sachi. Okay, can we just answer it as painting of Justicia? Yes, yes. So you just uh, just browse the, the 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 symbols given by. Uh, yeah, by given by Sachi in their PowerPoint. I think Sachi gave five, but there are still two more, right? There are two two more where it was been given in your book. And let's proceed now to the next question so that it will not take long. This is within um, both. Sachi and those who are uh, used were in ano to, it's Abakan's ano yata Abakan's report okay it's a poem true or false all poems cannot be functions without the use of symbols true or false all poems or all poems cannot function without the use of symbols true or false is it that all po poems are using symbols or there are poems that it's just we use the literal meaning of it and there's no symbol symbolisms being used okay is it true or false just answer me true or false all right let's have now the Vocabularies in justicia. Uh, justice, sorry, justice. The justice system. What do we call? True daw, so true. Sige, true. Sabi niya no, Daniel, maniwala kayo sa kanya. Okay, we are now within the uh, vocabularies given by Sachi. This is the use of ridicule or scorn to show contempt. Not all poems. Uh, Ibrahim told it's false because not all poems. Mm, probably, yeah, it's probably not all poems are using symbolisms, yeah. Some are even used only, uh, what do you call this? Not symbols, but rather they are used highfalutin words. Some are ad, others are just vividly described scenarios. Okay. How about this one? The use of ridicule or scorn to show contempt. Asachi, can you answer this? Because this is your topic. The use of ridicule or scorn to show contempt is called what? Derision. Okay. Derision. How about this one? Responsibility for wrongdoing or failure. The quality of state of being culpable. <laughs> Guys, don't forget to like. <laughs> Don't forget to like. Uh, there are still nine likes lang. Oh, we're at twenty inside the inside the room, Charot. Okay, culpability. Very good. Culpab. How about this one? Unofficial and trusted with administration of the laws. Unofficial and trusted with administration of the laws.
magistrate. Very good, magistrate. Next. Next now. Uh, what do you call that? Not partial or biased. Treating or affecting all equal, equally. So treating or affecting all equally. What do we call that? I think I mentioned the word. What do we call now the word not partial or bias? Or treating treating or affecting all impartiality. Okay. So please review this, guys. And the last one, it's equipment or trappings, especially a soldier's outfit. Usually not including clothes, weapons. Usually used in plural. These are the equipments or trappings, especially a soldier's outfit. How do we turn? Uh, who, uh, what? What's the? Okay, so let's proceed now. <clears throat> this is also a matching type. A countryman's okay. Who this? I think this is within Kara's. Uh, no, Kara, please answer this. Okay, please answer this one. Uh, it came from your. So, a person who gives care to people who need her help taking care of themselves. A person who gives care to people who need help taking care of themselves. We called it as what? This is within identity. Okay. So a person who gives care to people who need help taking care of themselves. Caregiver. How about a literary device? I think this was been uh, discussed by uh, uh, Eileen, I think, if it's not mentioned. Is it Eileen magkasama mo or si um, it's, uh, Habib? A literary device or it's a situation in which there is no, there is a contrast between expectation and reality. It's Fatima. Irony. Okay, very good. The fact, this is a fact of two things being seen or placed close together with contrasting effect. I think this has been discussed also by, uh, what do you call this? Um, it's Abaka and Eliza. Okay, the fact of two things being seen or placed close together with contrasting effect. Yung magkaiba siya. We call it as what? The fact of two things being seen or placed together with contrasting effect. I think uh, there's uh, this is been taken to uh, to the topic of of Eliza Abakan also. They discuss this in their um, vocabulary words. Anyone? The fact of two things being seen or placed together in in with contrasting effect. Us. Next, a group of people uh, who who spread from one original country to other uh, other countries. A group of people who spread from one original country to other countries. So we called it them as. Parang there's a community to that, the diaspora. Okay, diaspora. So diaspora is a group of people who spread from one original country to other countries <clears throat> a feeling of unhappiness a person may have when when away from home or from familiar surroundings of people um, i think yeah they as for uh, such it. this is the the feeling of ofw so when they once they left the their family in in our place a feeling of unhappiness a person may have when away from home or familiar from uh or from familiar surroundings or people. I think everyone experienced this when we are being isolated and or we go to other places. Homesickness. Very good. Homesickness. And definitely over uh OFW stands for what? Or of overseas Filipino workers or Filipino Filipino migrants. Is known as the OFW. I'll be the one to answer it. 
So overseas Filipino workers or, or or Filipino migrant workers are called OFWs. Okay, so that's within the vocabulary. So let's proceed now to the vocabulary of discrimination. I think this is Eliza. Is Eliza back on with us now? Or not? not? Okay, true or false? Discrimination is the belief that humans can be divided into distinct biological entities known as races. That there is a causal link between inherited physical traits and personality. Yeah, intellect, <laughs> half half though. Intellect, morality, intellect, morality, and other cultural behavioral characteristics. And some races are uh, innately superior to others. True or false? We called it uh, discrimination is the belief of you of that human can be divided into distinct biological entities. Is it true? Sabini Jari, it's true. This discrimination is the belief that human humans can be divided into distinct. Sabinaman false. True, which one is really the correct answer? Is it true or false? Discrimination is the belief that humans can be divided into distinct biological entities known as races. Okay, that there is a causal link between inherited physical traits and personality, intellect, morality, and other cultural and behavioral characteristics, and that some races are innately superior to others. So what do we call? I think I overemphasized the word. Anyone? Eliza, what's the answer? <clears throat> This is in your, uh, I just took this in your PowerPoint presentation. Repeat po. False. Oh, why, why, why it made it false? Ano, Saki? Diba, adik lang sa kape. Makakatulog pa kaya ako mamaya. Magalas just na. Racism. According to Sachi, it's false because the answer is racism from the word race itself. The next. What do we call to the person who is prejudiced against or hostile to others because they belong to a specific racial or ethnic group Usually one that is the minority or marginalized. A person who is prejudiced against or hostile to other. Mm -hmm. We are pertaining to the person. It's racist. Yeah, it's racist. The Bob, when we usually, hey, you're black man. I'm very sorry, sorry for the term. I won't even call it the colored person. So that's uh, racism, or we, we are racist sometimes. Or when you say, yeah, what's that? They are so poor, okay? So that's racist, being racist. Okay, that's being racist. So let's proceed now to the vocabulary words. So, so please scan all those vocabulary words in the different... Uh, there, are some, there are some PowerPoints where it been missing. Okay, so please double check and remind them if they did not uh, posted their PowerPoint presentations. Um, I want, uh, I think Eliza is here. So Eliza, please answer this one. What do we call to the belonging to a social group with shared national or cultural tradition? Is the factor state of belonging to that group. So belong. what do we call to the belonging to a social group with shared national or cultural tradition? 
Paran tayo, paran tayo. We call that we belong to the Southeast Asian. So ethnicity, okay, Et ethnicity. Okay. So we are Asians. Our ethnicity is Asians. Okay. Uh, what do we call to the treated as insignificant or peripheral? It could be prison, group, or concept. Very good, ethnicity. What do we call to the treated as significant or peripheral? It could be pertaining to a prison, group, or concept. Treated as insignificant, marginalized. Very good. Marginal. If you say marginalizer for these are the people who are being the the minor, uh, minority. Should I say minor? Minorities. Okay. <clears throat> Just like of of course, if you are living in a squatter area, right? If you are living in the mountains, as as an ethnic group, you are within the marginalized. Okay. Ensuring that everyone has an equal chance. To make the most of their lives and abilities. Okay, I think it's of the answer is obvious, but ensuring that everyone has an equal chance to make the most of their lives and abilities. Equality, very good. A violent disturbance of this the peace of by a by a crowd. I think it had happened in Cronulla Beach. A violent disturbance of the peace by a crowd. What do we call that one? Riot. Okay, riot. Prove more powerful or superior or persuade to someone to do something. To prove more powerful or superior or persuade someone or to do something, we call it as what, Eliza? Prevails. Okay, so please remember that if you want to browse also the then prevails. Yeah, it prevails. True or false? This is within now the topic of uh, Carl. Science fiction is based on imagined future scientific or technological advances and major social or environmental changes, frequently portraying space or time travel and life on the other planets. True or false? Carl, are you still with us? So science fiction is based on imagined future. Okay, so I Carl, it's true. So let's believe to Carl. Because this is the report. If you are got mistaken, blame Carl about it. Blame Carl if you get mistaken. Okay, the idea of cyberspace was first conceived by Wilbert Gibson. True or false? Carl, the idea, I think it's, yeah, Giorgio is also the reporter here. Both of them. The idea of cyberspace was first conceived by Wilbert Gibson, mm. uh, according to Georgia, it's true. Are you sure? The idea of cyberspace was first conceived by Wilbert Gibson. True or false? Georgia, how about Carl? Is it true? Carl, is it true that the idea of cyberspace was first conceived? Oh, sabi niyo, oh, yun kayo. Not really sure. <laughs> Kevin said, it's false. It's your report that you don't know what it is. But, of course, in defense, George claimed, not really sure. <laughs> it's according to, to Gabriel, it's not Wilbert Gibson, but it's William Gibson. Let's see. Sige. Lady-lady naman tong si, ano, si Dalmasya. May still within the um, true or false, flicker fade gone by Carlo Javier Caparas. Okay. 
Flicker Fade Gun by Carlo Javier Caparas focuses on the story of the pro protagonist who has been addicted to arcade games due to external pressure around him. He tries to prove that anything which happens in the virtual world, like arcade games, will be exactly the same in the real world. However, the protagonist was shocked and found out that the truth that he assumed was right was really far from reality. True or false? Flicker Fade Gone by Carlo Javier Caparas. Focus on the story of the protagonist who has been addicted to arcade games due to external pressure around him. He tries to prove that anything which happens in the virtual world, like arcade games, will be exactly false. Why it made it false, Carl? It will be exactly the same in the world. However, the protagonist was shocked and found, found out that the truth that he assumed was right was really far from reality. Why it made it false, Carl? It was only by Carlo Joca for us. Na, Carlo. So it was Carlo Javier and not Carlo Javier Caparas. Okay. <clears throat> All right, next, true or false? This is within the Martinez. I think it's the Martinez who has been the report of um, Julas the Ibrahim. The story entitled Martinez was written by Ana Marie Felicia Sanchez. Yeah. True or false? The story entitled Martinez was written by Ana Marie Felicia Sanchez. <coughs> True or false? The story, uh, the story entitled Martinez was written by Anna Marie Felicia Sanchez. So false, it's Anna Felicia Sanchez only. There's no Anna Marie. So it's Anna Felicia Sanchez. So let's believe her, him. If it's mistake, then we need to blame him. So let's proceed now to the next. The the female voice. This is the report of um ooh, of Daniel. Daniel, you need to answer this all. And together with Regina. Okay. Regina and Daniel. What do we call the Great War fought between Greece and Troy? What do we call a great war that was fought between Greece and Troy. Bilis, sagot. Trojan War. Very good. Uh, an ancient god of the sun. Who is the god of the sun? Who is the ancient god of the sun? Helios. Okay. How about the sea nymph? Who detained Odysseus, Odysseus for seven years? Who is the sea nymph who detained Odysseus for seven years? Calypso. Very good. It's Calypso. A sorcerer. How about the sorceress detained Odysseus on he on her island and turned his men into swine? Swine, swan, swine. A plural form. A sorceress detained Odysseus. It's, it, it's sire. Okay, it's sire. Very good. About this one, what do we call the fiction in which the author self-consciously alludes to the artificially or literary uh, literariness of the work by parody parodying or departing from novelistic conventions, especially naturalism? And traditional traditional narrative techniques. Uh, Daniel caps lockdown. Oh nga, sumisigo si Daniel. Hell yes! Hell yes, go himself. Ganun. Ito nga, Daniel, sige, sagutin mo to. What do we call the fiction in which the author 
itself con consciously alludes to the artificially of a work by parodying or departing from novelistic conventions, traditional narrative techniques. Metafiction, huh? <clears throat> what do we call the large hollow wooden figure of a horse? I think um, you have watched this during the Helen of Troy. The large hollow wooden figure of a horse, the Trojan horse. Uh, the Trojan horse, the Trojan horse, the Trojan horse. Who is the Greek? Uh, what do we call the Greek island to the west of Greece? A Greek island to the west of Greece. Daniel. Is it Crete? No, it's not Crete. It's Ithaca. Yeah, it's it. Is it Ithaca? Ithaca. Yeah, it's Ithaca. 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 Okay. So this we will now proceed to the um, vocabularies. Uh, what do we call them? The if we make rude or mocking remarks, typically in a loud voice. Make rude or mocking remarks, typically in a loud voice. Daniel. Jeer. Very good. It's jeer. How about it's the ability to use words <clears throat> or ideas in amusing and clever way? It is the ability to use the word use words or ideas in amusing and clever way. Daniel. It is the ability to use I carry. <laughs> Wow, well, you carry the Rina. Binu what don't you be Rina? Rina. Daniel Hard carry. <laughs> Wit. Oh my god. <laughs> Cringy. Cringe. <laughs> Can you slow down too? <laughs> go, Daniel, go. <laughs> Cringe at all. How about this having or showing no moral principles or not honest or fair? Having or showing no moral principles or not honest or fair. This I love this word. I usually use this in, in some of my write-ups. Daniel Go. Because let's unscrupulous. Okay, unscrupulous. So let's proceed now to Jari's um, Jari's report. Jari, are you there? Jari, true or false, Jari? Kimono is a long, loose, traditional Japanese robe with wide sleeves tied with a sash. True or false, Jari? Kimono is a long, loose, traditional Japanese robe with wide sleeves. Tied with a sash. Is it true or false? True. Sabi ni Jerry, it's true. Okay. True or false, Jerry? Nodding is a Japanese culture which is a sign of respect, sal uh, salutation, gratitude in social and religious events. Nodding is a Japanese culture, which is a sign of respect, salutation, gratitude in social religious or false. So sabi niya, it's not nodding, but it's bowing. Okay? <clears throat> so false daw, it's not nodding, but it's bowing. Okay? How about this, Jerry? What do we call to a door, window, or a room divider used in traditional Japanese architecture consisting of translucent sheets on a lattice frame where the light transmission is not needed, the similar but opaque kusuma is used? So what do we call now to the door or the window or room divider? Shoji, okay, Shoji. We call it a Shoji. 
Okay? We call it as shoji. How about this one? True or false, Jerry? Japanese house with rice panels is known as sliding doors, room dividers, or windows. It is called also as shoji. I mentioned it, so it's obvious the answer is true. Okay? Pero pa may ano doon, trees. There's a trees. Right, let's now proceed to the topic uh, of, uh, what is this? Uh, I think this was discussed by, um, sino to? Si na, who's the one who discussed this? Wait, I'll check. I think it's uh, Buela. Okay. Bella, true or false? All the subjects will be in the quiz for tomorrow. Yeah, you have your quiz, you have your second quiz in MIL, and you have your first quiz in literature. So I think this is the last question. Am I? This is the last question. Maria Laura Esquivel is a Mexican novelist, screenwriter, and a politician who serves in the Chamber of Deputies for the Morena Party. Her first novel, Como Agua para Chocolate, became a bestseller in Mexico and the United States and was later developed into an award-winning film. True or false is Maria Laura Esquivel. Is a Mexican novelist, true or false? I hope that. Nandito pa ba siya, no? Is, um. Siya bang may ari nito ang topic nito? I'm not sure. Eh. Uh, okay. So I think it's. Yeah? It's Bella. It's Atasha. True or false, Maria. Laura Escavel is a Mexican novelist, screenwriter, and a politician who serves in the Chamber of Deputies for the Morena Party. Her film novel, Como Agua para Chocolate, became a bestseller in Mexico and the United States and was later developed in an award-winning film. True or false? Wala na. Tulog na yata si ano. Tasha slept already. So I think that's the last question only. So any other questions, guys? Sabi ko nga 45 minutes. Ang galing ng 45 minutes. Paubuti na natin ng ano, ng one hour. So we still have 12 minutes to, to ano, brainstorming. Any other ones, uh, things that you want to ask? Sabi ni Regina, all the subjects will be in quiz for tomorrow so most likely to those who are in face to face you will take two quizzes that will be the quiz number two in mil or M -I -M -A -I -L, media and information literacy <clears throat> then you have also your uh, quiz first quiz here the, the one that we're discussing now okay um those who are um, at home for their online, false, Laura Escavel, Valdez for the last question. Okay, very good, Eileen. <clears throat> I think this is the topic of Eileen, I think. Eileen and, is it Eileen? Yeah, I think Eileen and, and Atasha. So, any other questions? So, to those who are on online tomorrow, you have your enough time for you to review your your lessons okay because you are in an asynchronous so no need for you to do online okay no need for you to do online what else before we will end any other questions? Guys, <clears throat> to those who did not sub subscribe yet here, <clears throat> subscribe in, in, 
Then you'll send uh, mga tanong ni Sir Romel. Rehina tulog. Oy, hello! Hola, Savage. Oh. Rehina, oh. Ay, grabe. Grabe. Charot. Grabe ka. Grabe ka. Burn din yung bird. Burn din yung <laughs> Burn din yung burn. And reminders also to those. <laughs> Sir, to verify, verify, verify po. Tuesday is when group one will do the 21st. Yes. So Tuesday when you will be coming in school. So the group one will take the 21st century literature. That's your first quiz. Then after that, again, uh, on uh, next week. Oh, ang galing naman ng, ano, ng second group buong-buo. Almost, almost two weeks ang wala silang klase. Okay. So starting to Thursday. Thursday. Then Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Oh, haba. Ang haba ng, ng ano nila. Pahinga. Oo nga. So, so by next week also, uh, Sunday, Monday, because uh, Tuesday will be your first day of your, um, what we call semestral break. I don't know if you have it. Because you need to work on your first will be of course your research you need to work on with your film okay and to those who like to be in school for their film then most likely you need to uh, ask permission don't go there immediately without any asking permission okay because since you are in a break meaning therefore that you are not allowed to enter the, the campus but since if you wanted to you know to do the film now then you need to ask permission, okay, so that I can uh, go give go signal to the, the admin. Then the third one, <clears throat> I don't know if you agree. Uh, we are planning for uh, team building, okay, maybe not now, okay, maybe after the periodical exam. Okay, we will discuss that soon. Okay, what will be the things that you will do in the team building? Of course, it's you need to be because we can take we can ask permission Thursday, okay Thursday tayo alis Thursday morning, okay then we will be leaving uh, we will be going to Kiran, okay we will we we will um what they call rent a villa, the grade eleven and grade twelve will be there, so it's a big villa actually I think how many rooms, uh down there are one two yeah there are two rooms and. On the second floor, there are one, two, three, four rooms. Okay. Saan? It's in Kiran. But I don't know how much already the, the rent because when we rented it, it's 80 KD per day. So Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Then we rented it for three days. Okay, we rented it for three days. And everything that we have paid fair and everything, I think we paid 40 KD. I think that's anyway, it's you will enjoy it really. And I'm thinking of it's a little bit winter, siya, winter, so that the others can do the tent. Kaso nga lang, if it's winter, you cannot swim, okay? Because at the back of the villa, there's the the dagat already, there's the, the seashore, okay? And at the back of it, there's also a pool, okay? I think it's November, yeah, mid-November is still ideal because it's uh, um, and it's not too cold and it's not too hot at the same time. At least you can do your activities. Parang magka-camping kayo if you wanted to do camping. There's on the top part of it, maybe, anyway, there's uh, in the office of the Sentinel, as the, of the office of the senior high school, there's um, two tents there. There are two tents, big two tents. So maybe you can use that. We can put that maybe beside the seashore or it could be on top of the building of the villa. But that's still a plan, okay? It's not yet uh, it's not yet materialized because we will send a letter most likely that we are still uh, within the pandemic. So social gatherings is <clears throat> not allowed. But that will also be a way for you to be freed from 
you know, it's the pressure of the work and of your school activities and so forth and so on. And for you to relax and to be with, socialize with your senior high school family. Okay. But you will you will really enjoy it, most especially during nighttime where in parties, there will be uh, planned parties for, for everyone. Okay. There will be planned parties for everyone. So any other questions? Any other questions? So we will just have now five minutes and after that we will end. Sir, in 21st century, October, Thursday, we'll have classes. No, on the 21st, uh, twen on the on Thursday, there will be no classes uh, in a pay re as we pay respect to the birthday of Prophet Muhammad. So all public offices, including schools, will be no, I uh, will not open. So it will serve as holiday on Thursday. Any other questions? Thank you so much, Aileen, for the question. Oh, Daniel, hoy, Daniel, mag-sorry ka kay, ano, mag-sorry ka kay, kay Regina. I-delete mo yung, ano mo, yung post mo. Tatay na tatay na. <laughs> that's why, that's how I, I, I usually, you know, give pieces of advice with my, my niece and nephews. Uh, that you need, if they do something that not bad, you need to say sorry. I think there's nothing wrong, right, in saying sorry. Uh, if you did so anyway, everybody commits mistake, but sometimes to avoid mistakes, we need to be very careful with the actions that we have, most especially if we know that it hurts the feeling of the others. You know, maybe it's a joke on the part of of uh, what they call this of Daniel, but definitely it will be a. We don't know the feelings of, of Regina at the same time, right? So, any other questions? Any other questions, guys? Biruan lang yan. O nga, biruan. Pero tignan mo naman, you posted it in the, ano, in the group chat. Iho. O nga, tama yun, biro siya. Pero, di ba, sabi niya, pag nga tayo magbiro ng, ano, it's, it's below the belt. Unless, Nagipagbiruan din siya sila sa atin. Okay. What is sleep, sir? Sleep, when you take a pill, then you sleep. When you're tired, you sleep. Diba? When there's a boring teacher in front, inside the classroom, you sleep. I sleepy lang pala yun. Then she sleep. And others are sleeping even inside the classroom, right? Yeah. To look down, to look down when 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 I'm asking questions, parang ano daw to look down si Rina. I know it's Rina is just so quiet. Jedrick is sleeping yah, na to to look, na to to look. Si Jedrick, and eh, Jedrick is not sleeping. Lasing si Jedrick. Iba yung to to look eh. Once you're sleeping, then most likely you cannot answer true, sir, de ba? <laughs> na sobrahan sa manok. Yeah, it's it's too much eating of chicken or too much maybe listening of the ano of the sound of the chicken. <laughs> Mas ginawa natin ano makiri siya <laughs> chicken juice. <laughs> Oy, nandiyan si Jedrick. Jedrick, are you there? Mamaya magtatampo yun, magdadala siya ng manok. Papa ano niya papatukan niya lahat tayo sa manok. Maybe Jedrick will bring chicken <laughs> then after that <laughs> kakaroon ng ano ng chicken wings buffalo Tur I don't that turduken <laughs> ano yun <clears throat> I don't know what do you mean by that Miguel it's even in capital letters The superpower of Jedrick po is ah uh, the superpower of Jed po sir ah okay ah uh, maybe it's it's in an online game an online game ah, okay got it well, I thought what's that hello you're shouting also because it's all capital letters so <clears throat> another thing guys <clears throat> Nikos I don't know if because should I need to tell it na to to 
uh, Flores to bring the the uniforms tomorrow, or I don't know because sir, my laptop is low, but na po I'll go na po. Sige, sige, guys, thank you, thank you so much, guys. Yeah. Paano si Regina? Oi, um, by the way, Daniel, you need to say sorry. Give give her a personal message. Yeah. Good night, everyone. Yeah, good night, everyone too. So I will. I think I will end um this um live streaming now. I think it's more than an hour now. Bye, sir. Thank you. Thank you. God bless everyone. Yung mga ano pa di you have you the ano subscribe uh, the YouTube channel. Please subscribe para matapos ako dito ha. Thank you so much. Good night to all. Ayan. Yeah, time to sleep. Bye bye everyone. Ayan. Thank you. Thank you all so far. Thank you. God bless everyone. Thank you. Bye. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Magandang gabi. Uh, uh, um, it's who, so it's about Eileen. Buenas noches. Bye everyone. Magandang gabi sa lahat.